Hi, Gene here with today's thought, and today we're going to be talking about a gentleman named, or I'm going to be talking about a gentleman named Will Pierce. Now, who is Will Pierce? Will Pierce was a senior advisor to Bernie Sanders. He was a fundraiser for Joe Biden. He's black, and he's a Democrat. Well, no, I was about to say he's a Democrat, but he is not, or he was, but he is no longer a Democrat. He has left the Democratic Party and not only intends to vote Republican in the upcoming uh, election, but he has registered as a Republican. He is officially a Republican. In the description, I link to uh, an article by Will Pierce describing his journey from, uh, from the, the Democratic Party to the Republican Party. And I have an interview with him on video, which I'm going to show you right now. A lifelong Democrat who campaigned for Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders is now leaving the party and becoming a Republican. In an op-ed, Will Pierce writes, the main reason I'm leaving the Democratic Party is its utter disconnect with the American people. The party that once championed the working class has now been overtaken by elites and affluent hubs who couldn't care less about the struggles of the average American. That author, Will Pierce, joins me now. Will, great to have you on the program. Look, you weren't just a Democratic voter. You were practically a Democratic Party operative. So what was the final straw for you? I think over the years, part the party has changed from its ideals. Um, I personally view politics as a game of addition. and you have to get to 50 percent plus one and unite people all the way around. If you look at the Democratic Party right now, they rather put people in boxes and label them rather than unite them. Do Democrats just not care about the voters that they say they care about? I think it's changed over years. Just if you just look at recent races, like look down in Houston where Sheila Jackson Lee, for example, this is pretty much a lead of four years in the Democratic Party, and her votes were just abysmal, around thirty percent. And it's just people in the Democratic Party they just do not understand about the needs of all. If you look at today, for example, with Zelensky going up to um, the Capitol, the Democrats care more about what's happening in Kiev and what's going on on the southern border. They care about more about um, just ideological stuff, such as who you are as a. Um, it's more about basically just like um, what you are, your gender, your race, your, et cetera, than who you are as a person. Well, the rot starts at the top. And in a new poll from the Wall Street Journal, 60 percent of voters disapprove of Joe Biden's economy, followed by 64 percent disapproval of Joe Biden's border. Over half disapprove of Joe Biden's handling of the war in Israel. So, Will, how much is Joe Biden to blame for people like you leaving the Democratic Party? <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, when I supported Biden back in 2015, 2016, I, you know, I was looking at his record over the years, and that's the main reason why I supported um, the president. At this point, though, if you look at um, just the economy, if you look at where we are as a nation, if you look at where we are as a people, he has not done what he promised to do, or just as he's supposed to do as president. He's supposed to unite us. Instead, he's dividing us, and it just starts at the top, as you said, Todd. Do you know anyone else like you, lifelong Democrats, like die in the wool Democrats, who uh, who are out, who are leaving the party? for the Republicans. I don't know anyone by name, but the thing is, even like, um, for example, my wife and I, we were talking last night. This is a big decision for myself. And a lot of people in the Democratic Party, it's, I hate to say it, they're just afraid of leaving. Um, we would think, even think about personal safety, like what it's going to be like just me leaving a party that I worked for four years um, overall. And you have a lot of people just thinking like that. It's like they think overall, can I leave the party? Can I leave, you know, go across to the other side? And personally, I'm doing this because I look at the nation overall. We had a very divisive period. If you look at the polling that you just quoted it's just our nation overall we have to be able to um, focus and be more united instead of being divided and just focus on um, just um, party politics like that. that's my thought for today and will pierce's thought for today if you could subscribe that would really be great share this video with anyone you think would benefit from it but most of all come back and see me again i would love to see all of you again and until i do see all of you again bye